feel so bitchy anymore. Wow. Thank you, King Lido. All hail, King Lido. I shall return in 28 days. Oh. For the next 30 minutes, we are in control of your television set. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can make the picture brighter. We can blur the focus or bring the picture to crystal clarity. We can program your VCR. Well, well, kind of. Well, we're not really sure about that multiple event, multiple day thing. A anyway, we can make you like oat bran. We can run in the house with scissors. We can go swimming without waiting an hour after eating. Don't you try this, however. Clearly, we can do all kinds of cool stuff, like taking you on an adventure. An adventure from the inner mind to DQD, Comedy Theater. Oh, God. Still no call from Marty. Oh, why do I put myself through this with every guy? He's never gonna call. I don't want him to call. All I wanna do is eat breakfast. Now, where'd I put that Ben and Jerry's? Oh, hi, Sam. At least I know you still love me. Oh, yes, and I love you too. Oh, let me get the paper. <laughs> oh, look, Sam, a rose. Now, who could have put this here? John's down in Mexico starting that UFO religion. Marty's doing community service for that thing with the cadavers. Could it be Rocco? Oh, God, I don't want to get back together with Rocco. Who could have left that there? It's me, Elaine. <laughs> I gave you the rose, for Christ's sake! Sam! You can talk! Oh, God. This is happening all wrong. I was going to try to let you know about this gradually, but... Damn. This is a shock, I know. Forgive me, Elaine, please. Oh, of course. Don't be silly. How did this happen to you? I suspect it was mixing the cycle form with NutraSweet, but that's not important. What is important is that I have something to share with you. Hitting the Ben and Jerry's a little early today, huh? Yeah, well, there's nothing like communing with a pint of cookie dough to give your life meaning. Look, it breaks my heart to see you chase after all these guys, and all they do is treat you rotten. You're kind and wonderful. You're such a sweet person, and you deserve better. What I'm trying to tell you, Elaine, is that I love you. Oh, and I love you, too. No, no, no. Uh, you don't understand. I love you in that special way. Special way? Yes, the way of the songs. The way of the songs? Yes. Love, exciting and new. Come aboard, I'm expecting you. I am absolutely, passionately in love with you. From morning till night, all I can think of is you. The way you give seats on park benches to old ladies. The way you sing along with ice cream trucks. The way you yell at Rush Limbaugh. Whenever we go for a walk, when your leg brushes against me, it drives me mad. It drives me mad, I tell you. I never needed that leash. All the time you had a leash around my neck, you had a leash around my heart. Oh! Mm. So that's where my scope went. Can we have sex now? Sam! Oh, ow! I, I think you like that kiss. Oh, yeah, and how would you know? A dog knows these things. Well, cool your jet stud. Well, yes, ma'am. Well, well, by the way, thank you for not having me fixed. Well, you did stop pissing all over the carpet. Well, I realized you didn't like guys who were territorial. You weren't as bad as Rocco. I'm still trying to get him out of the carpet. But this is what I'm talking about. You have a pattern of getting involved with guys who keep taking you for granted. I read about it in Cosmo. You can read? I ordered Hooked on Phonics. You keep getting involved with guys who don't share your spontaneity or wacky humor or appreciate 
You're certain je ne sais quoi. You speak French? Berlitz language tapes! Oh, mon cher! Oh, mon cœur de mon cœur! Mon amour passionnette! Oh, ma chienne petite! Wait a minute, that means my little bitch. It's meant with affection. Sam, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, what you're suggesting, there's no way it could work. We do have a lot in common, but... This is just crazy. I'm sorry. It's okay, Elaine. I knew it was a long shot. I'm sorry for having put this strain on our friendship. But I want you to know this. This doesn't change what we have now. I'll always care. As long as we're together, that's enough for me. Hello? Oh, hi, Marty. Yes, I'm glad you're done with your probation. Sure, I'd love to do something cultural. There's a Pizarro exhibit going on at the museum. No, Beers of the World Night at Dirty Frank's is not what I had in mind. I don't care if ladies drink free till nine. Look, I can't talk right now. No, I'm not going to loan you any more money. You haven't got my stereo out of hock yet. Good. Go sell some blood. I'll talk to you. Well, you want to go for a walk? I'll get the leash. We really don't need the leash when we go for a walk anymore. Who said anything about a walk? Say, I didn't know you were kinky. Blame it on those foreign films. What are you going to tell your mother? Well, I'll just tell her that I finally met a same guy with all of his feet planted firmly on the ground. <laughs> Cut. The Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine presents Dr. Henry Heimlich. Here's how to save a choking victim using the Heimlich Maneuver. Feel for the bottom of the rib cage. Make a fist and put the thumb side of the fist just above the belly button and below the rib cage. Grasp your fist with your other hand and press inward and upward with a quick thrust. Repeat if necessary. Remember, never slap a choking victim on the back. It will drive a choking object deeper into the throat. Right, the Heimlich Institute, Cincinnati, Ohio. When people meet me at work, they sometimes get the idea that I'm not very friendly. But that's my job, trying to make the save. Off the ice, I make saves too by supporting programs that will save thousands of pets from the misery of being unwanted and abandoned. Act responsibly. Have your dogs and cats spayed or neutered to help control pet overpopulation. You can assist in this effort by purchasing and proudly displaying these new specially designed license plates. Be animal friendly and make the save. Jones, uh, please send in my next appointment. Um, yes, he hello. It's it's very good to 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 meet you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Bloody Axe. My name is that Bloody Axe. Yeah. At Blood Axe, Eric Blood Axe. Scourge of the Mongols, the spoiler of the Saxons, the destroyer of the Huns! Eric Bloodaxe, he who maketh the Persians flee in terror. He who makes the Turks wet their pants at the very mention of his name. He whom all the women of the Visigoths, when they hope, to taste of his madliness. Uh, 
how nice. But let's just take a, a, a seat and have a look at your resume, shall we? Yes, let's just, let's just do that. Um, I, I see here that it, that it says that you have, have slaughtered many thousands of Danes, ah. and um, that the Gauls curse your name across the uh, length and uh, breadth of their accursed land. Ah. Um, all very, very impressive, to be sure, Mr. Mr. Bloodaxe. However, I, I brought just... brought the sample of my I... work. Mm. Oh. Oh. A severed human head. Mm. And, and a very fine example of its kind. I, I must say, Mr. Mr. Bloodaxe, however, oh, I, I, I do say that that is a very, very interesting piece of jewelry that you're wearing. That that is a, a, a human hand, is it not? Yes, it is a gift from my wife, Freya. Freya Bloodaxe. Warrior, huntress, she-demon, lover. She's really a whiz when it comes to accessorizing. To be sure. Um, but as I was saying, Mr. Bloodaxe, it, impressive as your credentials may, may be, um, and, and I must be very upfront in saying that, that, that no applicant to this company has, has ever slaughtered just quite so many Danes as you have, or, yeah. or, or despoiled quite, quite the thousands that, that you have, uh, Mr. Bloodyaxe. Yeah. Um, however, uh, you are aware, are you not, that, that the position for which you're applying is, is that of uh, accountant trainee? The Normans are about to hear my name and they tremble in fear. The Lombards! Are you trying to tell me that I'm overqualified for this position? It's what I'm hearing everywhere I go. Mr. Thompson, please. I'm willing to start at the bottom. Uh, accounting is all I've ever really wanted to do uh, ever since I was 10 years old. And I disemboweled my first enemy. As rewarding an experience as that was, I knew that destiny had something greater in store for me. A county. Please, Mr. Thompson, please, all I ask is a chance. A chance to live my dream. M Mr. Bloodax, much as I can understand you, you're passion for numbers. I, I, I still have to say that with your... Uh, I don't ah! feel that... Uh, Mr. Thompson, may I show you something? Uh, well, I, I, su I, I suppose so. Ever since I began pillaging and plundering, I've kept a statistical account of all my activities. This is a chart which shows my pillaging to plundering ratio. Mm. Uh. And this is a graph that shows my total disembowelings throughout the years. This line shows the ratio of my disembowelings to my total killing. As you can see, the downward trend shows that I'm not just married to one way of doing things. I like to think of myself as a multifaceted individual, Mr. Thompson. One who is open to new ideas. I, I might be making a, a big mistake here, but... Ah. Damn it, Blood X! I'm gonna hire you. Ah. <laughs> ah. In fact, you remind me a lot of myself when, when I was just starting out. But let me warn you, Bloodaxe. If you thought that the Mongols and the Saxons were tough, just wait until tax time here at Rawlings, Evergreen, and Franklin. Why, we're going to work you so hard, in fact, I'm going to put you under our toughest man. Mrs. Jones, please send in Mr. Cohen. Why, he'll find out PDQ if you have what it takes to become an accountant. Genghis, this is your new trainee. <laughs> And now, medical adventure on the high seas with Pirate Proctologist. Arr! Send in me next patient! <laughs> ha 
And now, scenes from next week's episode of Pirate Proctologist. Arrgh! The problem's not hemorrhoids after all, matey! The problem's right here! Hello? Is this Mr. Phil Thomas? Uh, yes, it is. Mr. Thomas, this is Debbie calling from AT&T. According to our records, you switched your long-distance service to MCI. I'm calling to see if you would like to switch back to AT&T. Well, I'm satisfied with MCI. In any way, I really don't make that many long-distance phone calls. Did you know that AT&T long-distance rates are actually very competitive with MCI? Plus, of course, you get that AT&T quality and service. I think I'll stick with the company I have, you know, for now anyway. We can switch you back at no cost to you. And not only that, if you switch back now, we'll give you your first month's long distance calls absolutely free. Absolutely free? Gee, is that anything like relatively free? No, I mean, it sounds like a good offer, but like I said, it really doesn't matter one way or the other which uh, company I'm using. We'll do your laundry for a year. Excuse me? We'll do your laundry free for one year. Shirts, underwear, you name it. We'll even match your socks for you. Fluff and fold, Mr. Thomas. That's our motto here at AT&T. Uh, thanks, but like I said, I Kathy really... Wilkins! What's Kathy Wilkins have to do with this? You'd like a day with her, right? Well, switch back to us, and it'll happen, Mr. Thomas. We'll even put it in writing. I'm a woman, Mr. Thomas. I talk to other women. Do you know what we want? How we think? How we feel? Our innermost thoughts? What turns us on? Mr. Thomas, women want a man with strength. A man who isn't afraid to be gentle and tender. A man, Mr. Thomas, who isn't afraid to switch his long-distance service. Look, this is getting just a little bit ridiculous. I mean, this... My mother needs an operation, really. I'm her only means of support. If I lose this job, I don't know what I'll do or what will happen to Mom. Look, lady, I, I just... I just don't appreciate any of this nonsense. Oh, this is you a... don't appreciate? You don't appreciate? You smug little bastard. Mr. God's gift to long-distance phone calls. Do you think Susan Morris would appreciate your telling all your friends how you... Now, how did you so charmingly phrase it? Nailed her. We both know what really happened, don't we, Phil, babe? Does the phrase, this never happened to me before, sound familiar? It should, since according to our records, you've had occasion to say that, uh... Oh, oh, let's just say 15 times and leave it at that. I mean, there's no need to get personal, is there, Phil? Uh, you said the first month is free? Was free, Phil. Was free. But that was before you got just a little too snotty with me. But I think we understand each other a bit better now, don't we? I think so. Now... As I was saying, upon switching back to AT&T, you will be billed the nominal fee of $25. Is this understood, Mr. Thomas? Yes, ma'am. As to future expenses, we'll just play it by ear and see what we come up with. Bye-bye, and thank you for switching back to AT&T. on TV. Never mind the wussy stuff like Urkel or Canterbury Tales or nine hours of Gallagher on VH1. That's for knuckleheads. What do you want to see on TV? You want to see Barney explode? We'll blow him up! Drop a <laughs> Blat! You got it! The Willingboro School Board square off with Macho Man Randy Savage. We'll see what we can do. But you gotta ask for it. How? Right into DQD Comedy Theater with your request. Send your request too, cause you asked for it. Care of DQD Comedy Theater, 42 West Broad Street. Sweet 50. Paul Ryer, New Jersey, 08065. You get a free DQD sticker. And if we use your name and request for the show, you get the greater glory of getting the telecommunications industry to respond to your slightest whim. That's cause you asked for it. Care of DQD Comedy Theater, 42 West Broad Street, Sweet 50. Paul Ryer, New Jersey, 08065.
Bad credit? Fish in a bag. Injured on the job? Fish in a bag. Lonely? Fish in a bag. Soap scum? Fish in a bag. Bed wedding? Fish in a bag. Head lice? Fish in a bag. Yes, it's fish in a bag. 100% pure fish in a bag. Ask for it by name. I'm Dr. Henry Heimlich. You know of the Heimlich Maneuver to save a choking person, but did you know it's the first step in saving a drowning victim? Remember this, mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation is not effective when the lungs are flooded with water. The Heimlich Maneuver expels the water from the lungs. Here's how you do the Heimlich Maneuver on a drowning person. Feel for the bottom of the rib cage. Make a fist and place the thumb side of the fist just above the belly button and below the rib cage. Grasp the fist with your other hand and press inward and upward with a quick thrust. Repeat until water no longer comes from the lungs. Here's how you do the Heimlich maneuver when you can't reach around the victim. Repeat until water no longer flows from the lungs. Remember, you can't get air into the lungs until you get the water out. For more information on saving drowning and choking victims, write to the Heimlich Institute, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45208. Next, we have the stress test. Make sure the machine is operating. How do you feel about traffic jams? Good. Uh, root canal. I love that sound. The IRS. Oh, dear. Maybe he didn't understand the question. Look in your tax instruction booklet for money-saving tips from the IRS. It's just one way we're making tax preparation a lot less taxing. The undisputed king of rock and roll. Legend says that the king came to his untimely end on his throne. But his music, it will rule forever. And now, you have an opportunity to invest in a treasured keepsake of his undisputed reign. Graceland Estates, in conjunction with the Franklin Mint, now make this amazing offer. A life-size working replica of the king's own scepter said to have been wielded shortly before his untimely demise. Yes, the King's Scepter that was by his side at the end will become a treasured keepsake and family heirloom that's price is sure to rise in the future. It even comes with a certificate of authenticity. Imagine the pride that you will have as you show off your new family keepsake that you may someday be able to parlay into a college education for a loved one. And it really works. Of course, not all collectibles increase in value, so please consult experts prior to purchase to determine investment quality. The scepter has been offered elsewhere for hundreds of dollars, but our special purchase permits us to offer the King Scepter for the amazingly low price of $39.95. This is a limited offer, so why wait? Order today, because once the supply of scepters is gone, there will be no more offered. So honor the memory of Elvis and his reign with a memento that will grace any home. The Elvis Scepter, with certificate of authenticity and attractive presentation case for only $39.95. Call now. Operators are standing by. DQD Theater presents Great Moments in Religion. Paul's Letter to the Ephesians. Dear Ephesians, how you doing? Long time, no right. Having a holy time, wish you were here. Tee <laughs> Heard the one about the Roman, the Jew, and the Assyrian who go into a bar? They, uh, hmm, I think the tone's a little too light. I mean, it's not like this is a letter to the Corinthians. The Corinthians. Now there's a bunch of fun guys. Ephesians. What the heck kind of a name is that, anyway? Oops! Okay, let's serious it up here. 
to the saints who are also faithful in Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoa, aren't we Mr. Serious? And talk about kissing up. Anyway, how come I have to write all the letters to all these cities? What, like the other apostles don't have hands? And I sure as hell better get reimbursed for all this postage! Maybe I can slough some of these letters off onto Matthew. I'll tell him they're epistles. Yeah, that'll impress the boob. <laughs> okay, now where was I? Gee, that pimple on my butt is killing me. Mm. Welcome to How to Speak DQD. I will state a phrase, and at the tone, you'll repeat the phrase. Ready? Begin. Rama Atkins. Pete Bosniak. Tim Burke. Angela Cato. James Dempsey. Rich Frere. Mike Goodwin. Candesa Karch. Joseph Knotts. Sean Leahy. Steve Mamlin. Maggie McCann. Steve Zach Zakian. Please practice these phrases frequently. They may or may not appear on the Blue Book exam at the end of the semester. Thank you. Oh, come on, honey. That's the kind of talk I love. Oh, yeah, baby. Are you hot to trot? Don't horse around anymore with 1-900 numbers that don't deliver. Try Mr. Ed's 1-900 Wilbur, the erotic equestrian hotline. It's your starting gate to the sophisticated globe-trotting action you need. Share your deepest fantasies with Mr. Ed. I've been in a race. Yeah, I'm all hot and sweaty. It's like nothing you've ever heard or experienced. Call now, 1195 for the first minute. Kids must have parents' permission before calling. Dial 1-900-WILBUR, that's 1-900-WILBUR. That's 1-900-W-I-L-L-B-U-R. I'll be waiting.